gonna start with the bone shaker. A little sweep around Bone you. shaker designed by Larry Wood. Beautiful. I love what you guys did with the boosters. Mm -hmm. Looks like oh, a Marty carpet booster instead of a side-by-side -side booster. Really amazing interpretation of kind of the Hot Wheels world. Uh, speed boost here. I might have to turn off oh. messages. We're getting tons. Oh. Yeah, why don't we pause and turn on messages real quick. Oh, I can't pause. I'm about to go uh, through a loop. Oh, oh, all right. oh, no pausing. Stop sending me messages. Hold on to your lunch. There's the Mustang and the twin mill out there in front of us. And you can see the track's still under construction. Twin mill just did a wheelie. Now, it is amazing seeing the twin mill on track because this is the first time in the, the uh, previous, previous pack. <laughs> and this is coming up as another. Oh, jeez. You, so, oh, Hot Wheels. Good grief. No exactly, we spared no expense. That's right. So, uh, was it Raptor Rampage? That was a kit that came out in the 80s, I think, that had a giant T-Rex. So that inspired that. Yeah, that there, was, there was T-Rex Rampage, there was Raptor Rampage. There's, uh, oh, like dinosaurs have been part of the Hot Wheels family for almost as long as the Twin Mill has. I mean, the Twin Mill that, that you got from your neighbor came out in, in 1969. The year I was born, by the way. Is that right? That was yeah. a good year. That's a great year. It was a long yeah. time ago, but that was a good year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hence the gamer tag, Junk, 1969. <laughs> there you go. There but, you, go. you know, we were talking about it before the show began. These are orange tracks. These are iconic. They have the little touches that I think any Hot Wheels fan is going to really appreciate, like the connectors, like the sidewalls, the kind of things we all played with when we were kids, right? Yep. Right, Chris? Yeah, the, the blue connectors, I love that touch. Yeah. You know, the other thing, and I don't know if people are going to notice this, but, uh, you know, as a as a former industrial designer, oh, look at oh, that look at jump, that. first of all. Through a fire. Of fire. Come on. Yeah. Are you kidding me? There you Unbelievable. go. There you go, baby. That's your, well that's your first intro into the Hot Wheels well expansion for Horizon 3. So, but, sorry, you were saying but the tracks. tracks yeah. The tracks, I mean, you can tell they are extruded orange. Yeah, oh, so the man. bone shaker, the car right behind us, there it is. It's got the red stripe on the tires. Uh, which incidentally is an upgrade you can apply to um, any car in the game, not just the Hot Wheels cars with this expansion. So uh, the way this expansion works, we're going to start out with, uh, you know, Hot Wheels version of slow, I guess, which mm -hmm. is the rip rod. It's still really quick. Slow in uh, air quotes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. Um, it's, a, it's a really quick car. It's kind of an off-road buggy, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's nice and zippy and it's quick. And uh, it doesn't really have a huge high top speed. And it's kind of, you know, uh, we felt it was important to, like, uh, ease players into this crazy, fast, uh, sweeping uh, tracks that are in this game uh, by getting them in cars that maybe aren't immediately 250-mile-an-hour-plus cars. Mm -hmm. And the, the way the campaign will work is you'll, you'll start in B class, which we, you know, our classes start at uh, D, then they go up to C, then B, then A, then S1. And S2, and, and the, the faster and faster you go, uh, we'll start out in B class, and we'll do a couple events, and uh, we'll, you'll see how this works. It's similar to the Blizzard Mountain expansion, um, you're earning you're earning medals mm -hmm. like you did in Blizzard Mountain. You earned uh, stars, I think. Yep. Yep. We'll show that off as we get to events. There we go. Kira will explain it to us. So I'll hook you up with faster and faster cars. We'll give out medals as qualifiers. Any questions? No. Then no. get out there. I got it, Kira. Let's do it, Kira. So uh, big map, as you can see, um, really huge. I believe we have something in the neighborhood of over 110 kilometers of new roads, uh, though, to be precise, yeah. orange, plastic, orange plastic, tracks plastic tracks in the sky. Right. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and pick our first event. We'll do one, one real real close by here. Close by, yeah. Yep. Cla Epic, Epic Stunt, Stunt Race. All right. Sign me up. I'm good to go. Let's do it. So, you know, I, th I think it's important to probably start in a slightly more modest car because you're driving on, you're driving in such a way that you've never driven in any Forza game before. Yes. Extreme elevation changes, loops, you know, curves that are hundreds of feet in the air. It's good to uh, st start you off in something that's very manageable, a car that you can handle. Give you time to adjust to the <clears throat> conditions. Don't worry. Once you see Hot Wheels idea of slow, you'll understand why we have to build up to fast. There you go. Secure just explaining to us that, uh, and, and again, like Blizzard Mountain, it's not just winning the race or completing the race. You'll get one medal for just finishing the race. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll get two medals if you finish and win the race. And uh, if you want three medals, you got to finish the race, win it, mm -hmm. and pull off whatever uh, skill target. And skill targets um, were, were introduced in, in Blizzard Mountain. A lot of people liked them. Some of them were a bit uh, really difficult. So we took another look at that. We made sure we balanced it right. Let, let's save stunt swaps for a bit. Oh, okay. Let's just do and our let's just event. go right yeah. on. All right, I'll do, do uh, I'll do the one that Horizon presents. 
and we'll go in the rip rod. And any car that you have that isn't currently in your B-Class garage, yep. you can take to this. But, um, yeah, I'd suggest giving the Hot Wheels cars this Yeah, week. why not? Uh, you know, like you said, it, we, you can bring in any car. In fact, we're, we'll have a poll a little bit later on Beam where we'll let you vote on what car you want to bring into uh, into into this world and see how these cars do on the loops. But, yes, all these Hot Wheels cars are available to you right away as soon as you have the expansion. All right. Your wheels won't actually catch on fire. She was just being <laughs> Kira being Kira. Yes, yes. All right. And if you noticed on the outside of the car, the uh, the uh, glass was uh, is tinted red. Um, and uh, uh, one of the drivers who drove this in real life uh, actually told us um, that was really hard to see. So uh, we went ahead and fixed that for you and just made it clear. Thank you for making Hot Wheels <laughs> even better. <laughs> well, you know, there's some things you when you're designing cars, I guess, the Hot Wheels guys are designing them, they're not really thinking about, will this be a problem in real life? Um, like the uh, position of the twin mills engines which we'll get to later oh, yes. so here we go here's a loop here we go oh, oh no you can hear that a little that, dip in speed yeah, there dip in the, dip in the revs uh, there you do need to be going somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 45 50 miles an hour to successfully navigate the loop okay uh, as in real life uh this track is still ruled by the laws of physics yep. and gravity so if you're not going fast enough you're not going to make it around the loop We'll probably worse. show that off later. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you what happens if you, some of you are curious, like what happens if you stop at the top of a loop. I'm sure uh, we can show you what happens in that case. And, and we've seen what ha what happens in real life. Of course. If, uh, if you don't have enough speed around the top of a loop as well. Yeah, one of the first things we did on the tour was do the big two-story loop that you have in the front lobby. Yeah. And yeah, you got to have some speed there. Or the car's not going to make it. Yes, so, it Chris, from your point of view, um, what what... What's it like to see Hot Wheels sort of come to life in Forza? This is, I, I mean, oh. this is, it is just remarkable. Oh. And there you go. And fault. that was the gonna, tension moment. I'm going to press, gonna press rewind. Yeah. We, rewind engage. So no clearly that Drivatar had uh, found the edge of the track, and that is an uh, open edge. I mean, yeah. look at those boosters. Yeah. My goodness. But, you know, I, I think that I, one of the... Oh, there, that I was think, nice. uh, skillful. Are you going to hold on? No, you are. Good. Wow, good. well done. Um, you know, I, I think that every kid that has this. played with Hot Wheels mm -hmm. has in his head imagined this. And I mean, the, just that, that kind of pity your stomach feeling when you, when you enter into that first big loop life size, you yeah. really feel it here. Um, obviously, most kids don't even have uh, kind of in their imagination that they're going to be, you know, off the coast of Australia playing in an environment like this. So to me, it is, it is absolutely just remarkable. And um, it, it wouldn't be as amazing to me as a Hot Wheels person, uh, as it is if, if, if there wasn't the level of detail um, that, that you guys captured. I mean, it is completely remarkable. Now, what's cool is if you've been following the Forza franchise for a while, or if you've been following Hot Wheels for a while, you know that we've worked together in the past. This is sort of the, the latest culmination of that, but we've worked together as two sort of creative entities all the yeah. way back to Ford Simpson Motorsport 5. Yep, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah. And, and and totally cool thing. I mean, I think at that time, we were both trying to figure out, is there, like, what does Hot Wheels even feel like in this world? Right. So just having a, a pack um, where, where you know, I mean, Hot Wheels makes all makes and models mm -hmm. of cars, and some of those makes and models were, were in that first pack. The, the, the latest pack, where we actually brought the rip rod in, uh, as well as the... Uh, as well, or I'm sorry, the bone, bone shaker, shaker yeah. uh, the, the bone shaker, and the the 2005 Mustang. Mustang, yeah. You know, those are our Hot Wheels original variants, and uh, and I think it, it it kind of upped the ante mm -hmm. to even feel more like you're driving a real Hot Wheels. To me, this brings it home, and I think you know we we talked now years ago about the the notion behind Hot Wheels around experimentation and competition and just the kind of creativity of track in, in this kind of environment and I, I, where else are you going to see a huge T-Rex <laughs> thank you on cue perfect, perfect timing um, it like I bringing it so to well life bringing it to life yeah. is is magic well fifth place for John yeah. but that's, that's, we're, that's just yeah. we're just getting oh, warmed up yeah just getting warmed up Look at that. Yeah, so uh, giant mechanical dinosaurs uh, set up. There's a few of them. Uh, mm -hmm. They don't have names. so um, You can name them. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> it's up to you. We'll call that one Fred. Yeah. So I got one star for finishing the race. Uh, it's kind of hard to talk and 
Do I have it? Oh, uh, during this, uh, during the, the break, when you were learning about how Hot Wheels are made, we unlocked the A-class event. So I told you it didn't take very long. We right. only need to do one event. So at this point, we can do another B-class event in the Rip Rod, or we can go over to A and give that a shot. Yeah. So I say we, we head into A. Oh, we do that. Go yeah. faster and faster. Let's that's what get, we're here for, right? That's right. That's what we're doing. All right. So we'll be in the Rip Rod until we get to the new event, and then we'll, uh, I guess we're going into the Bone Shaker, I uh, Yeah, the Bone Shaker is a, an A-class car. we got to drive it very quickly in the beginning, and you will also be able to drive it uh, right away here. And the game does um, actually gift, uh, gift you the cars sure. that you're going to need. Um, but uh, if we don't have it ready for us because we're so early, we're jumping the gun, and we'll go ahead and uh, get it uh, for the race. Right. So I, I asked uh, Joe, I asked the question of Chris, but I'd love to hear your, your thoughts of well, as well of, Seeing Hot Wheels come to life in Forza, what does that mean to you as someone who's been on been with Hot Wheels for a while now? I mean, this is this is just a dream come true for us here. I, I mean, you guys saw on the, on the tape earlier the the giant loops we have out front in the lobby, and so everyone who comes into the office, the first thing they do is they run up to those loops. Oh my God, can <laughs> I go I up on the second floor yeah. and drop cars down these loops, watch them go, see if they make it, see if they crash out? And now we've taken that and we've blown it out into a, a whole world where not only are you watching the cars and living vicariously through them as they go down the track, but you're actually in the car mm. experiencing it in first person and third person. It's it's a real thrill and no ceiling and you can really zone in on the TV and it's perfect for racing games It's perfect for playing a game that requires the level of skill and precision as uh, Forza Horizon 3 All well, right, so in here this, we are. Yeah in this race uh, You'll see something this one's called the half pipe speedway and you'll see something that uh, it's fun So yes, we got the loops and we got the jumps and we got the speed boosts that you'd expect with Hot Wheels um, Playground did a lot of fun experimentation in their in their offices uh, with orange tracks and cars everywhere, trying to see what they can come up with. And inspired by some of the videos on YouTube, you know, where people are making uh, their own additions, mm -hmm. right? They'll have an orange Hot Wheel track going into some cardboard thing or plastic thing that they made up. Um, this is an example of one of our stunt sections. This is the spiral. It's got an open edge, so you got to yep. be careful, especially if you've got guys trying to knock you <laughs> off. Um, oh, right you know, on the edge how, there. How close do you want? Half that wheel was off. Uh, how close do you want to cut the uh, the inside turn? It's a little, little crowded here, uh, and then we'll get up to the half pipe section. And this is gonna. I can't wait to see what kind of stunts and videos people oh, pull off. <clears throat> look at this. The half pipe is. Uh, oh, this is incredible. This giant suspended thing with this big metal cage around it. Um, you can sort of see through it in the gaps uh -huh. there. And it's a little slipperier than the rest of the tracks, yep. which most of the tracks approximate the feeling of tarmac in the game. I mean, mm -hmm. we tried different services, but ultimately, Ooh. oh, I just Ooh. almost lost yeah. it there. Yep. This is a race. I'm trying to, uh, trying to win. Trying to win. I'm also trying to get a top speed, which I think I just blew my chance. That would have been the best place to get, what is it, 100 and... I needed to get 160 miles an hour. I think I was only doing 138, so I did Two laps. I got another lap, so this time I'm going to focus on getting three medals. I need to beat this guy and get 160 miles an hour, which should not be a problem. The uh, Bone Shaker can easily hit over 185, and, you know, any car going through a speed boost, which I'll explain a little bit more about, um, can get rocketed to whatever speed that particular speed boost needs, sure. needs to uh, get you up to to get through the, the No matter the stunt. class. No matter, the, well, no matter the class. Although, it's an interesting note, if you're playing with manual transmission, um, as I am right now, manual shifting, the speed boost will not automatically shift the car's gears for you. So, you know, it'll depress the clutch, which will get you up to 200 miles an hour, or whatever the speed boost wants you to. But if yeah. your car's geared to be like a 130 mile an hour uh, is your top speed, um, it could be pretty messy if uh, when the boost lets off and puts you back in that gear, your wheels will lock up and you'll spin out. So make sure you're you know, shifting and yep. picking the right gear. Um, it's a little bit of guesswork sometimes. Oftentimes, those speed boosts are so powerful that you might as well just shift up until you found the top gear. Right. All right, so now I'm coming through here. I'm not going to try to do anything stupid. I'm just going to go fast because I need to get 160 miles an hour here. I mean, this half pipe has really gotten people freaking out. Yeah. I mean, it's like you guys took the essence of Hot Wheels and you built on it in a really creative oh, and authentic way, that half pipe being part of it. Yeah, you know, I, I think that's a, a, a great point to bring up. Uh, John, I'm wondering if you can... Global fans of, of Hot Wheels are, are enormous. We've been... Uh, sending these cars out all over the world since you know the, since the 60s, so it's everywhere you go, you can get Hot Wheels. It's yeah, amazing. and I and I hear there's a roller coaster in uh, Australia that is called the Sidewinder, which is actually a Hot Wheels uh, Hot Wheels themed roller coaster. So there's a bit of an Australian connection right. there. We it's just the closest about you can get to this pack without, but you can't, but you can't actually control the roller coaster. No, you just no. gotta go where the roller coaster. No, you wants can do you whatever go, you want so. here.
And I just went through a split jump section. Oh, oh which I failed. <laughs> a little um, more speed, I think. So that's kind of the risk of the split jump. This is one of, we'll talk about this a little later, it's one of the stunt swap sections you can, you can, uh, you can uh, replace sections of track with. But um, going through the jump actually is a little faster oh, than... Oh, barely. Oh, phew, that's Woo. nice. Than actually taking the turn section around it, but it comes with the risk of yep. falling off. And here, you know, I'm only a few feet above the ground, so the risk is not that high. It is still an open world game, so mm -hmm. there's lots of places where you can drive off and uh, and skirt around and do some exploring. This is probably not the best car to be exploring off-road. Yeah, you probably need... And the great thing about the expansion is we've got not just uh, great Hot Wheels cars, but we've got some off-road vehicles like the Hilux oh, and... Uh, the Jeep Trailcat yeah, is that's a right. beast. Trail, uh, can't wait to see people drive that around this game. It's a 700 horsepower plus, Jeez. you know, uh, Hellcat engine in a, in a Jeep. And, uh, and apparently it was only for a concept, so yeah. they're not actually going to make it in real life. So you can drive uh, it here. This is a wave section, so this is another section that players can swap out. And a lot of off-road cars will do really well here, where the hypercars and supercars will be bottoming out and skipping around, and it's not really made for them. So different cars, different cars uh, you know, have advantages or disadvantages based on the sections you want to do. Why so don't we find another event. Let's find another race here and get some more medals and move up to the uh, to the point where we can. Uh, I'll just fast travel. Yeah, why not? Save us some time. So l let me ask you guys both of both of you the same question. I mean, obviously we have designers at Playground who worked hard to lay out this world mm -hmm. and create this fiction around uh, around the Hot Wheels expansion. You have designers that not only design cars but also design play sets. And I'm wondering if if it seems such a natural fit that we would have this kind of creativity come together. But from your point of view, Joe, um, how, do, how do the designers feel about seeing these kinds of things come to life in a video game? So it's it's been amazing working with, with Playground uh, on this. They, they got it so right. When, when they came to us with, with the project and they said, we want to build this Hot Wheels world. I mean, first of all, we were like, yes, right. this is exactly what we've always wanted in a game of this quality with this level of graphical fidelity. Mm -hmm. But then we were like, but can it really be done? Mm -hmm. And one of the big things was John, his passion for Hot Wheels. This is a guy here <laughs> who not only uh, played with Hot Wheels when he was a kid, but apparently continued to play with Hot Wheels all the way through yeah. his, his <laughs> high school years. According to and I never <laughs> picked him up. I never said. picked up my room either. The Hot Wheels City would remain um, there for months. <laughs> Hot Wheels City, I love it. Uh, John remembers the names of track sets that he played with uh, the way a lot of people I know Thunder Shift 500 Raceway. Comic books. <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. So we knew we were in good hands. Um, and then, you know, we had a great, we had a great, you know, multi-day immersion event where our designers came in and presented to the playground team, this is how we design, this is how we think about how it's fun to play with Hot Wheels. And there was an amazing collaboration back and forth between the design teams. And then they went away. Then you guys went away for a long time. And when you guys came back a couple months later to show us some target gameplay footage, you know, we, we didn't know what to expect. And then we saw the banks, we saw the loops, we saw oh, the lost. half pipe. <laughs> Fort <and> Focus. We, <laughs> we couldn't tell. He was bouncing <laughs> all over the place. Um, you know, we saw just the, the way you guys treated the plastic, the mm. translucence of the plastic, the way it comes through, and, and you guys really created what we could have only dreamed of as a, as a scale Hot Wheels world. One of our favorite things is the lights. If we get to do some night driving yeah. later. Yeah, we'll pick a night course. It is just stunning the way you guys decided to build lights into the banks of well, the Well, yeah, because we've got in the world of Forza Horizon 3, we've got the 24-hour day-night cycles. you got the, the weather that keeps changing. And these are things that, you know, unless you built your Hot Wheels playset outside, you know, depending on where you lived, you don't have to think of those things. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, the playground guys came up with a really cool lighting scheme, and um, and actually, it's it's fun to drive these tracks in the wet too. Mm -hmm. They're, like I said, the the surface, the driving surface itself is very similar to the tarmac that you're used to in the game. So, nothing should be too shocking there. But these high bank turns, this is incredible. You it's know. Just in first person view, it looks so cool. I think I'm, I'm traditionally a third person driver in Forza Horizon. But this is like. Uh, you need to be in, in cockpit or first or hood view here to really get that sense of immersion and danger. Yeah, I think oh, here comes a really fast, this is like super fast banking section. And it's nice, we've never had these kind of banks before, mm -hmm. so it's kind of fun to see what certain cars can do around them. And uh, the bone shaker's doing a pretty good job. So this is the first of two laps. So you still got one more lap. Yep, one more lap. You, I, I, feel, I, I think you could do it. I can do it. Got to uh, concentrate. What's my skill target? I need 15. I haven't been paying attention, so a lot of you guys are familiar with Blizzard Mountain. Yeah, you know that you you know you do need to rack up some skill points. Sometimes it's best to 
draft behind some guys while drifting and doing stuff, but I just lost my skill chain. Oh, and I went rewind, off the edge. Rewind. I'm going to rewind, pretend that didn't That's happen. That's why we have rewind. That's why we have rewind. <laughs> um, yes. Luckily, these cars are about as durable as our real life tours are, meaning you can pretty much do yeah, anything yeah, to that. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're driving right, with so. simulation damage on, uh, <laughs> you're going to wreck these cars pretty quick. But uh, luckily, yes, we make, you know, this is about making fun. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you can survive some pretty outrageous stunts. But Joe, it made me think that we've got real-life Hot Wheels cars behind us. Oh yeah, and yeah, these cars run. These cars, they you can get in them and drive them, but you guys don't drive them that often. Yeah, right? and here's or a this fast, or this uh, fast. Yeah. right. Here's a chance to really let loose with the bone chip. Oh, I landed on a Ferrari. I've, I've, oh. oh, you know, so God. we've been building. Oh, two wheels. <laughs> can I? Oh. No. Sorry, um, we've been building out these real life cars uh, for years now, and you guys have done an amazing job of now bringing four of those cars into the game and the Bone Shaker, the Rip Rod, the Twin Mill, and the, the Hot Wheels uh, Mustang. Yep. And it's true, I mean, these cars do all drive, and they are super powered super cars, um, and some people are allowed to drive them. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I, you have to have special training. Okay. Uh, but the thing is, even when they do drive these cars, they don't typically drive them uh, all that fast because these are priceless one of a kind cars yep. and so you know it was amazing to have you guys come down here I was there there were thousands of pictures of these cars taken you worked with our engineers to spec them out and make sure they yep. were true to the way they performed in real life and I think that was that was a really interesting process because these aren't production cars so we have to actually dig into those specs ourselves to really understand all the different ways that the car can drive and how it'll handle in different situations and now we actually get to drive these cars. We see these every day. They're in the hallway. They're in the lobby. We have meetings sitting around these cars. Sometimes after work, we sit in them and pretend to drive them. <laughs> That's right. We've done a little bit but, of that ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I got my picture done um, <laughs> in the boat but, shaker. But now to actually be able to put it into first person and and really feel like, okay, I'm in the bone shaker. I'm in the twin mill. It's it's something that everyone is, is so fired up about. That's awesome. All yeah, right. We are done with All lap right. two. Don't Race two in the bag. I did not win. Um, maybe we'll unlock it later. I'm in the... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're only showing A-class cars right now. So oh, that's right. That's yep. right. I would need to... Uh, so let me just let me just give this one a race, and then yep. the next race we'll do what people... Yeah, yeah. What people we can do this. We'll do stay do. in the Bone Shaker yeah. on this one. If you want us to stay in the Bone Shaker for the next one, you just vote in the beam pole. Otherwise, we'll move on to something else in my garage. Yep. And this is the... Race is this the Thrill City Turbo Sprint, I believe. Okay. So. I like the Bone Shaker a lot. It's, it's really fun to drive. Um... You know, I imagine it, it's, it, you know, looking at the one behind us here, it probably <laughs> it probably does shake your bones when you drive <laughs> I it. I imagine. Uh, Not exactly built for comfort. Right next to a Seahawks livery. That's cool. Oh, really? Okay. I can dig that. All right. So this one takes place and uh, starts out in Thrill City. Uh, so it's, uh, it's just a fun cityscape that's also got all these giant tracks connecting through it. And if you look carefully, you know, you can see... Um, support poles and, and concrete piers holding these things together. I mean, that was kind of the idea when Playground was building this is, you know, let's envision this as though guys in hard hats made this. Yeah. Uh, this could happen in real life. Let's just get over, let's just get over that. <laughs> and then if it could happen in real life, what would it look like? And uh, what would they do? And, and because it's Australia, you don't see this right now because we're, we're um, uh, in a race as opposed to free roam. Mm -hmm. But uh, because it's the game is still set in Australia, as, as is this uh, Hot Wheels fantasy world. Oh boy! Look out! Um, yeah, you want to off road because the, the yeah, Warthog, Warthog took that really well. Yeah. Um, you do have to drive on the left side of the road still. So you know, obviously these tracks are wider than the Hot Wheels tracks you play with as a kid. You know, those are only wide enough to hold one car. Here's a split cross. Mm -hmm. Let us hope nobody's coming the other direction. <laughs> As I'm going there through. There you go. Oh, oh! I saw it coming. Oh. You got, I think that was uh, Ken Block's yeah. RSRX that you got know, you there. I would have to say that 80% of the time I go through that, maybe I'm, I'm kidding, but 80% um, of the time you don't hit somebody. It's just really close. Oh, wow. I guess it is just uh, luck of the draw. Um, multiplayer, that ought to be interesting. You know? Yes, we'll see. We'll be doing uh, multiplayer a little bit later in and the show. There's some um, wavy undulations that happens when you're making your Hot Wheels tracks as a kid. You're laying things out. and So in terms of the, the stunt track swaps, are those the blue sections that we saw yeah. earlier? Those, okay, yeah. So that, that way you know, here's the section I put in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the uh, darker blue bits of track are the ones that in a, in a race course are uh, swappable. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 
And so this is the point one. This feels very much like a cross country race in, a, in on the on the main island, I guess you'd say, because uh, I love that aspect of like you were. You took us off the track. Yeah, basically. exactly. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, most of a uh, most of the Hot Wheels expansion does take place on tracks. Um, but yes, there are there's lots of ex uh, bonus boards for you to go find, which are off the beaten track. The barn find, obviously, you got to do some exploration. Uh, but really, you know, this expansion is really oh look at that. That's kind of. Uh, and when you finally get to unlock the, uh, I don't think we'll get to it today, but when you finally get to unlock the um, Goliath, the Hot Wheels Goliath uh, track. Right. Okay, is anybody coming this time? Uh, it's nope, harrowing. he made it. <laughs> he made it. Um, that is huge. It's 16 miles. Is that the largest The Goliath? largest. Yeah. No, no, it's not the largest Goliath. I think the main game the main game one might be twice as big, okay. uh, the, the Australian Goliath track. But it's, it's massive. It's yeah. much bigger than the Blizzard Mountain one. And it basically connects all six islands. So it's a massive track that kind of puts your ultimate Hot Wheels skills to the test, uh, everything you've learned. And here's another place where the track splits and meanders. And <clears throat> that's the first time I think we've actually had our Drivatar AI system know that you can take a left track or a right track and still stay in a race. Oh, so no there's, some, there's, some, there's some cool feature work in this that yeah. you know yeah. 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 Um, so totally we get that will, once we get to that point where we can bring in whatever car we want we will definitely show the 918 yep. here on the hot wheels track and i can assure you uh, that is my that's a fun car to drive in the hot wheels expansion it's my personal favorite car to drive in this expansion Ooh. i barely made barely that. made that yeah i'm right now i'm going to go try to clock a speed trap and get us some more medals uh, so we can keep moving up and you, I see a lot of photo icons over cars. You don't do much uh, car photography, do you? I don't. I, I. Here's my thing. I don't mind doing the photos, but I don't like stopping. Uh, you know what I mean? It's if like you could I just gotta, snap a if quick I could just photo snap while it you're right on the, here. Are you asking for a new feature? Uh, that would be great. Yeah, if you guys could do that. On for the me. fly, lean, lean your arm out the window <laughs> and snap a picture I'm, of I'm a sure car. I'm sure Playground is listening right now. All hey right. guys, could we just work that in? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, but no, I. You know how it is. Everybody plays sports a little bit different. Yep. Yep. So. I like to stay in motion when I'm flying. Uh, so we're heading, sorry, we're heading, heading for a speed trap. Okay, speed trap. And I'm going to try to, I see a speed trap that we haven't scored any medals in yet, so I'm going to try to blast it as quick as I can and get us to unlock some. Uh, let's turn right. Uh, so you've got a path. You're following it. Yeah, it's going to it's gonna take people a while. You might not memorize this, uh, the, totally. the tracks very easily because they're so windy and yep. so twisty that you may think you're headed for the city one day. But you might end up in the in the dinosaur jungle, you know. So get um, that line on, and especially in the early goings. Yeah. Turn your turn your suggested line on. It'll help you around the track. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Sometimes sometimes there. those speed Ooh. boosts give you a boost when you're not expecting it, but just know that it'll the speed boosts kind of work both ways, both oh, no. uh, both directions. It doesn't matter which direction you're going. It knows which direction you're going in, That's and it will give you an appropriate boost and. Uh, it's basically trying to push you to the speed it thinks you need uh, to be to get around uh, most of the stunts that come immediately after. Oh, nice. Did I? Oh, I, I missed it. She uh, said turn sharp left. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Yep. Uh, the, uh, Should I turn around? Yep. We just so now we'll see that, that speed zone Sorry. working in the opposite direction yep. automatically. Yep. And remember, remember to drive on the left side of the road. So well, the rules of the road traffic. still apply. We're yes. still in Australia. Yes. Maybe right. a complete fantasy land, but we are still in Australia. You can, just as I did, you can lock up your brakes if you want to right after a speed boost. Oh, okay. If, you didn't want, if, if it's launching you past the point you want to go. And here we go. We're going to come down to this section. I think we got a speed boost coming. Oh, I think it wanted you to turn right already. I think it wants you to go off the track here. Hold on. Let me up with that. Let me find out where it is. Want you to cross oh, that's a danger right sign. Uh, I was reading it wrong. Okay. So yes, the exclamation point means a danger sign. So let's go do that. All right. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna drive through the shallow water in a car that is not <laughs> meant for this. Bone shaker can handle anything. Really I'm not worried about it. It really should be in the rip rod or the <coughs> or the, uh, the, the trail cat. Trail cat. Yeah. yeah. Actually, this would be really awesome in the trail cat. So th actually, this is a great time to show. Oh, the, there's the danger sign. You may not have enough. Speed I here. probably don't have enough speed to do anything impressive. Yeah. For it. No, but it, it is a, an important point that if you get off track here, if you're rolling around in the city, you can head over to, you can easily find your way back to the orange Oh, tracks. yeah, so you see this track right here with the black and yellow uh, markings on the side. On the, <clears throat> on the map, you'll see that as a dotted line. 
uh, right here. So mm -hmm. that kind of helps you know, because you know, there aren't on-ramps everywhere, and a lot of this track is suspended. So as you're driving through the world and exploring and unlocking tracks, you'll see dotted lines. That's, that's your cue that you can take that to get back up onto the, the track network. Cool. All right. So well, we do we want to do maybe one more event, and then we'll uh, yeah, let's do we'll another event. On. I was hoping not to have to redo any events, um, so let's go back and do a, uh, a B class event. Oh, you know what? That's a speed. Let's camera. do something quick. All right, I'm gonna yeah. do a quick speed camera that'll get me uh, lots. I'm gonna fast travel because we have that option. You know what's interesting? I didn't realize you could get to Blizzard Mountain from Hot Wheels. Yes, you can. I saw you that can icon there. you can travel very quickly from. Uh, actually, Playground added a really cool, uh, I don't think we've, uh, this was in Blizzard Mountain. Uh, it's been added now into the Hot Wheels expansion where just from the menu, mm -hmm. you can go Hot Wheels fast travel to Byron Bay, um, or you can fast travel to Blizzard Mountain from the menu. So nice. you can do it from in the world or from the menu. So that's, okay. that's cool because we, we knew there were a lot of people who were, you know, like to be doing both of those. Uh, you All right. Going back and forth. Well, let's do one quick attempt at this All event, right. and then we will uh, take a quick break. All right. could use this opportunity to show you what happens when you fail the loop, oh, we'll but do we'll, do that later. Later. Yeah. we'll do that later. I'm just going to try to get get through this uh, speed. Oh, it? this is a speed zone. Oh, it's speed zone. All right. Keep it going. Yeah, you know, I kind of screwed up and hit the wall there, but this should get us at least one star, if not two, if I can keep it up. All right. 112. New PB, baby. All right. How many medals did we get? One, two. Oh, one. Just one. We got to right. be in a fast. Oh, so I need two more medals. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, there you go. Okay. Let's let's go. Well, this might be a, a a neat time to show uh, something else that's fun. Is uh, we you know we do have the drone camera, and for those of you who have used the drone mode uh, in the main game, um, you might have noticed it's kind of leashed to the ground. Yeah. The drone mode is now unleashed. Wow. Just I like did this, not expect just that. Just like this giant mechanical dinosaur. So now you can actually go and see just how massive. Do the turbo, dude. And I, I got my button oh, on the got, turbo, you're but turboing. it's so big oh, yeah. that you know it's taken us a while to fly. So um, no, we can't give you the unleashed uh, drone in the main game, right. um, okay. but we were able to do it for the expansion because a lot of these tracks go up to ridiculous heights that the main game has never had to deal with, like this uh, giant corkscrew <laughs> around the center uh, island in the game. Um, so, yeah, it just gives you an idea of just how massive this place is. There's, there's the cobra coil that we did earlier yep. and uh, through the Jurassic Jungle. So, Well, it's a great time. To, the, the question I was answering earlier yep. is the, the idea of all these islands coming together. Yep. Playground was, they just had so much, it seems like they had so much fun with this. Yeah, I mean, really thinking about it, like if we were in charge of designing a real life Hot Wheels theme park mm. that you could drive like real Hot Wheels cars on, uh, what would it look like? You know, how, what kind of themes and Hot Wheels tracks and track sets have always been known to have some fun, outrageous themes, and so uh, they just, they're just kind of sticking with that theme. Um, so hold on, I was just trying to find the start point for that race. There it is. I just kind of drove over it. You know, my favorite part of the design <coughs> of this car, it's got the Timeless FM bumper sticker. It does. Which is pure class. It does. Should I stay in this car? Let's just stay in it. All right, all right. <coughs> it was pretty quick. Yeah, I love this car. All right. It uh, below minimum. Um, is that right? What? Uh, oh, That's I was B in a B-class class car. Yeah, let's, let's pick something else. Though. Okay, we'll pick another B-class car. Let's see what you have in your garage. I got a lots of good B-class stuff in there. I'm sure we'll. Well, find and it's fun because it kind of takes us. But no, this is A now. It ah, wants us to go A-class. A class, so it. all the A-class cars. And here's kind of a tip, uh, pro tip for you guys who are going to be playing this expansion soon. Top speed is kind of king on the Hot Wheels expansion. Okay. Um, so, yes, handling is always important because it's still, if you're good uh, in the main game, you're going to be good in Hot Wheels too. But uh, when these cars are getting rocketed through the speed boost and then drop back into their regular gear, if you've right. got a car that can go 200 plus miles an hour, you're going to be doing pretty good, uh, pretty good. What's your favorite A-Class car in this uh, bunch? Uh, let's, do, let's do something Australian. What about that? Do you have a? Do you have any Aussie? Do you have any? Let's see if you got any Holdens. If you I if must. you do, we I will must. we will. No no no. no. A class Holdens. Let's what about a Ford Falcon? Let's do the Ford uh, Ford Focus RS. There's a Falcon. Let's do it. Oh, but yeah, you're just not upgraded enough. Oh, here you go. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll do this one. Okay. All right. Still pretty uh, underpowered in A class, but I have. I feel like you can overcome that. Uh, I th oh, we're in B class still, aren't we? Are we? I don't know. No, no, we got to upgrade it. Okay. All right. 
No, no, it's showing you the car you're currently in. I so see. we haven't got in this yet. Got so it. Yes. Got it. We're going to okay. be doing an A class event. Well, we're, we're keeping it real to Australia right now. And it's another orange car. What is <laughs> this orange theme? <laughs> yeah, here's your orange theme right here. Yeah. Uh, in blue. case anybody wants to know what the code name was uh -huh. during development for this expansion, it was orange. It was orange. Yes. Code name orange. Yep. And uh, that way, if it, if it leaks, people mm -hmm. might not. Figured out. I, I I don't know if we if it had somehow leaked, somebody would have put two and two together and say orange Hot Wheels. Somebody somebody always knows. Maybe, maybe uh, maybe who knows? Perhaps. All right, loading up. Yeah, there's a lot of orange in this expansion. That's for sure. As there should be. Yeah. All right, Jurassic Rumble. All right. Something tells go. me we're going to be starting or finishing near a dinosaur. I, well, I think we're starting literally underneath that dinosaur. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Oh, maybe not. All right. Oh, okay. Rear wheel drive. Forgot yep. about that. Good luck. Yeah. I know a lot of you guys are, <clears throat> you know, you upgrade your cars to all wheel drive, put V12s in them, and, but sometimes you just got to be pure. That's right. I don't know, man. Feels like you're getting left behind. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if my skills can catch us up. We'll get through the Cobra coil here. So you were saying uh, earlier before the show began that Playground had taken, had really brought Hot Wheels into their lives and into their studio. And if you were to go there during that time, you yeah, were still. Or I mean, still, they, had they, to, they had to actually. Well, they had some press come through there. They had to remove all the tracks for fear of leaking anything, right? right? right. But yeah, the whole studio was. They'd had tracks running from the engineering section to the design section. Um, up and over desks and tables, uh, pushing them through strange uh, configurations and spirals and things like that. And yeah, like I said, that inspired some of the some of the crazier um, twisty bends in this track, like you see in that opening sequence that goes up the mountain. Yeah, of course. I, but I bet that was amazing. I, yeah, I, I'm not sure if I if I built this, that in my studio. This, I probably you can do this up. with the real Hot Wheel in real life. And yeah. if I hit the brakes right now, I am going to fall. It right. is centripetal force that is keeping me glued to the track just like your Hot Wheels in real life, so. Is there a, is there a, uh, is there a formula or a, uh, a design methodology for where you put the speed, the speed zones, the little boost? <clears throat> well, yeah, so a lot of them, uh, there are some cars that literally won't get around this track even with those speed boosts okay. uh, in their stock configuration. So some of the really slow classic cars, for example, from D-Class, you might need to uh, get some upgrades on them. But the speed boosts are designed to help uh, the, some of the slower class cars get around the track. Mm -hmm. And also just to, just to give you that sense of eye-peeling speed that you would expect if you were behind the wheels of a real Hot Wheels car without driving beyond the rules of what these cars you know, sure. are physically capable of. But um, how does the speed boost actually work in real life? Let's not get into that's that. That's not, not important. You know, we had some top engineers. Yeah, top that. men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All that counts is that you quickly get up to 200 miles per hour. Yeah, the Horizon Festival hired some top engineering talent. Um, there's one of the dinosaurs hiding in the jungle. You'll hear them once in a while. They roar. They're kind of on a looped animation, <laughs> just like they'd be in a real amusement park. Let me just say that the Horizon Festival is well funded. Uh, well, yes. Yeah. I mean, they have to be in order to pay off all those people whose barns they raid and, and pay off the insurance. Yeah, the insurance. The Can you imagine the insurance? <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. When you know, if some people are thinking, "Wait a second, this is totally unreal." There's some uh, nighttime yeah. action for you. You can here. see the little lights on the side of the track there. That's what we were referring to earlier with Joe. I mean, Hot Wheel, the Horizon Festival has always been a big what if. Mm -hmm. What if you could build a festival about music and cars as, you know, massive open world driving, the police don't pull you over for driving recklessly or fast, and you just have the freedom to go everywhere you want. That's a big what if. Mm -hmm. This is a natural sort of uh, extreme version of that what if. You know, what if you just had all the imagination and resources in the world and engineering talent to build a life-size Hot Wheels stunt world. Mm -hmm. What would it look like? How would it feel? How would you get multiple cars to drive on it? How would you handle traffic on it? Um, you know, would the loops actually work? Mm -hmm. You know, in a in a. I in, think there was some question car. about that in the beginning, right? We weren't we weren't exactly sure what this would look like when, well, when the guys were building it. Yeah, and actually, there's there's you know there's some again the playground guys were totally inspired by all the great Hot Wheels sets, right? Mm -hmm. That's why you got the dinosaurs and and. Uh, the crisscross crash sections of the track. But um, 
There was another product the Hot Wheels came out with a long time ago. I think it was called Magnatrax mm -hmm. or something, where they had magnetic wheels and, and the tracks were metal. And I think Playground wanted to play around with one of those things, too. And it's funny, you know, we were driving around. When you find yourself driving around upside down for prolonged periods of time, that's when it starts to not feel right. Right. Uh, at least uh, in our minds. I think we all realized that was a bridge too far. Um, yes, giant orange tracks, 200 <laughs> feet in the sky. Completely acceptable. Completely acceptable. <laughs> yeah. But driving upside down for extended periods, that's when you realize you're no longer... Uh, um, ruled by the, the rules of forts of physics anymore, and nice. it felt wrong. So we didn't go that far. Yeah. We didn't go there. Well, you're getting just the right amount. You're getting the loop. You're getting the through the loop-de-loops in the rain at night. We couldn't pull them off the thing. Right. And, um, and, and he, <coughs> you were saying that he was automatically trying to break things. Yeah, well, he was like, what happens if I do a, if I do an e-brake 180 uh, halfway through the loop? Oh, look at that. It worked. Um, and he slammed on his brakes going through the loop to see what had happened. And what happened was exactly what he hoped wouldn't happen in real life <laughs> right. when they did the stunt. Um, they had an RC car do the stunt first, and oh. uh, those of you who have seen that footage on, on YouTube, uh, the RC stunt car did not navigate the loop successfully. It literally fell on its hood. It's, it's funny to hear that, it, like, if I had to guess what the speed needed to do a loop, I would have, I, 50 seems quite low. Well, you know? for a six-story loop, yeah. uh, well, he thought the same thing, For a, but for a, the six-story loop that they were doing at the time, that is what the engineers said. Like, mm. yeah, well, they said around 50. And he's yeah. like, well, <laughs> what is it, 52, 53? Right. Don't worry about it, Tanner. And so, you got a helmet. So they actually uh, they actually pegged uh, the engine. The car was, the rev limiter was set at 55 miles an hour. Um, and that was important because, you know, any faster than that, um, you know, something could go wrong, any slower than that, something could go wrong. So yeah. they had to hit that exact uh, speed going through it. Um, and again, if players, if you're driving a, a car that's not going to go that fast uh, through the loop, um, you'll find out what happens. It's Boy, you really get a sense man, of that speed. that car's fast. <laughs> I was going to say, we're going 200 plus there. And I'm these, way ahead of everybody. Yeah, these tracks really come alive with that speed. These Horizon Edition cars, that's what we're driving, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see the that's black right. plate. This is the Horizon Edition it's Camaro. It's a skills bonus car. Yeah, but I haven't been driving very skillfully. I've been I've been banging it's into all right. stuff. But there we go, there we go. Ride that, ride that, ride that. That's right. All right. And now you saw the Hot Wheels drift. So, uh, yes, there are Hot Wheels skills now. Um, they're really, you know, it's kind of a, I guess, a more ultimate version of the ultimate skill mm -hmm. that you normally get in the game. So if you're pulling off really ultimate drifts, really ultimate 180s and things like that, you're, oh, see, I'm too busy skilling, and I'm letting these guys pass me, and that was not my intent. Um, We're too busy chatting. Too busy chatting. Yeah, you know. I know that's uh, that's part of it. Here's the loop. Yep, I think we get a skill. Yeah, from this going you're going loop. 130 here or so. Yeah, oh, yeah. And then that you would really be, peg it. I think we worked out that the G forces uh, that you would uh, experience are upwards of 40 Gs. Yeah. Um, so there's not a human in the world that could really withstand that. Right. Um, right. So uh, yeah, that's where we bend in the rules, but. Ooh. And if we only, if we said you can only drive 50 uh, miles per hour yeah. through every loop in the expansion. That's right. That's no fun. Oh, Lord. Hold on. Time Let's to rewind. Just, uh, rewind. Pretend that didn't happen. Uh, hey, hey, this is a real life place here. This is what happens. Yeah. Sometimes that's right. We're live, baby. We are live. I should point out, it doesn't always pay to go uh, hellbent for leather through every jump when you go off a ramp. Um, just like in real life uh, and in other parts of the game, I'm sure some of these players have noticed, sometimes if you let off the accelerator right as you're going off the ramp or tap the brakes, that brings the nose of the car down. Um, that's how physics work. Mm -hmm. That actually helps you land the car flatter. Uh, otherwise, you know, sometimes you might be landing with your nose up and you lose control when the wheels land, um, which is another kind of tip you would have learned from Tanner Faust, who actually not only did the loop, but he and people can vote on what sections they want to see in the race. Um, so get prepared if you're watching us on um, beam.pro slash Forza Motorsport. We're going to put up a poll here in just a bit about what kind of sections we want. It depends on the type of race we're doing, what sections are available to us. But John's going to, we're in good hands with John. He's going to bring us to a place, and then we'll put the, the beam poll up, let you guys vote, and then we'll be able to do the event. And Are I, you an event? You're in an event right I'm now. I'm in an event right yeah. now. I'm in the, uh, the the Horizon Edition 69 Camaro, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, man, this I like this car. I yeah. haven't driven this car in the expansion yet. Um, yeah, if you've got some of those Horizon Edition cars laying around, 
This is, probably, out. this is probably a really good one. Plus, you know, I think one of the first Hot Wheels I ever had, I think one of the first run of Hot Wheels, the original Sweet 16, if I'm not mistaken, was a Camaro. Okay. Um, so it seems appropriate. Plus, it's yellow. It's not orange. The, the orange car is almost like camouflage That's on the right. track. Like, where, where did, That's right. Where'd my car go? If you do some hide-and-seek or something, you'd have a distinct advantage with an oh, orange no. car. Well, no, the, the, those guys, was it Jack Ultimate Gamer? He's one of those guys who like posts these really fun Horizon videos on YouTube where they have uh, they have hide-and-seek games. They have city camouflage, jungle camouflage. Um, they should do an orange camouflage and see if they can actually hide cars on the track, maybe. I don't know. That's just right. an idea. Just a, just well, a request. Uh, John, I remember you, uh, we were talking before the show, you are a devout Hot Wheels fan. Um, I them. was a devout Hot Wheels fan when I was young, and I, I wonder if you had favorites from when you were little. Uh, well, the, definitely the Twin Mill. Yep. Um, <clears throat> there was another one we were uh, talking about earlier, the, the Red Baron. Um, mm -hmm. That was a crazy car. Yep. But, you know, I just liked, I, it didn't really matter to me. I just wanted every new car that came out. So Were, were you a crasher or a keep them no, pristine? No, I, I, had, I did have a, a group of Hot Wheels that belonged in a crash box. Right. And, and sadly, some of those were the original Sweet 16, like the Beetle with the giant V8 in the front, the uh, yep. Volkswagen Beetle. Um, but uh, those were already beat up when I got them, so I figured, no, I was, I, I lovingly cared for my Hot Wheels. I, I wrapped them up in little colored Kleenex tissues. Really? And, uh, and then wrote so the name of the car. So responsible for a young man. Ah, I wrote the names of the cars on the outside of them, and they were color coded. It was, it was, and then I gave them all to my nephews. So um, I don't know if they're watching, um, if they've taken care of them or not. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I hope so. Well, up section here. Are we going to do this now? Uh, we'll, we'll do, do it the poll next now? time. We'll do it next, next time. time. Okay. Well, well, you can tell us right now. Um, well, we need to know what, what oh, we're voting on. Oh, we actually need to see mm -hmm. the yeah, So we right. can do that next time. All right. Um, but oh, oh, this we're in the, the rain. rain. This All might right. be the first rain event we've this done This is the so first far. rain event that you've seen. Um, it rains on Hot Wheels Island. It does rain. <laughs> yeah. It does rain occasionally. No, no, um, it's not called Hot Wheels Island. What's the name? Yeah. It's well, Thrill Thrilltopia. Well, it's it's uh, it's it's referred to by either Horizon Hot Wheels, okay. by the uh, by Warren, who's your uh, your mechanic buddy yep. in the game on Kira, and also Thrilltopia, which Thrill is a name that Warren probably gave it. He just, he <laughs> thought, oh, he, Warren. He, he he thought that that would sound really cool that and and, guy. and yeah and totally Hot Wheels. So. Um, and it fits, but yeah, it's. Uh, How's the handling going on with this? Uh, it's nice a bit chain slippery. Got it's here. a bit slippery, and I've got a super powered uh, rear wheel drive Camaro right now that's got a big blower on it, so I've, I've got a lot of horsepower. But thankfully, it's got race tires on it too. So look at the. You really get a sense of speed with those lights flashing by so quickly. Yeah, we Amazing. are. And now we're gonna go through it. Ooh, a half pipe section, which you got to be careful. You can take the bank, just not too fast, yep. or you end up, you know, hitting the. Hitting Ooh. the edge and going off. Nice little clean racing. Yep, I managed to do wow. that without hitting any other cars. That you, was pretty amazing. That that may be the cleanest thing you've done today. That's amazing. And this is an example where I tap the brakes to bring the nose of the car down. Oh! oh. Well, and this is another was, example of was free about to be all, <laughs> Theoretically, that was a good idea. I was about to be all proud of my <laughs> achievement there. So this <laughs> jump will actually it. launch your car noseward if you're not careful. Um, so. You do kind of want to, uh, believe it or not, just tap the brakes just a bit when you go off uh, to keep oh. it. And I did it <laughs> the same thing on the other side. <laughs> so, again, like with real Hot Wheels, yeah. when you send a car off the track, you don't always know what's going to happen. Right. Sure. Some of these jumps are kind of like that, too. So, you know, trust me when I say, you know, it's experimentation, it's practice. That looks good. And this one is going to... Oh, oh, well, oh. stay on, stay on. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. I know. You did it with gusto. Well, Does that count for that's anything? That's only the first lap. You've got plenty of time. Uh, that's all right. Go. I will just let the AI pass me and just shake it as, uh, you know. That's Learning opportunity? Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be a Hot Wheels expansion if you didn't have those risk-reward dangers. That's right? right. And you can't you can't always. I just lost my my spoiler. Well, you know. That's all right. My wing. On a Camaro, wing is kind it's of. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Isn't that? So, yeah. Oh, that's a nice boost. Hello. There we go. Drive this cleanly. Get through here. You gotta appreciate also on the windshield here the the rain dynamically right. shifting as soon as your uh, speeding up happens here. Oh, and this is a wave section. You might want to slow down oh. for the wave unless oh, no, you've no, no, got no. <laughs> unless you've got a soft suspension. Yeah. Um, you you actually handle it pretty well yeah. there. Yeah. So that wasn't bad. So yeah, I mean, you know, it's it does take skill. It does yeah. take some skill, some thinking, a little bit of strategy and what car you want to pick for the right track, um, especially if you're going to be doing this in multiplayer uh, with other people. Um, I love the loops sort of bobsled effect, yeah. right? Yeah. Using that centrifuge kind of 
gravity to work your way around. That's right. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, nice. I recovered. Okay. I recovered. Okay. I recovered. Uh, we talked about it earlier, John, but for those who are just joining us, we do have this concept of speed boost. Oh, jeez. Ooh, what happened there? Um, <laughs> Is that right. drifting? I, uh, That's sort of a drift. Yeah. I lost control. That's a of vertical the car. drift. <laughs> I lost control of my car. Sorry. Uh, what I was saying about the the speed, the little speed boost that you have. If you're playing in manual transition, you need to do a little work there, right? Yes, you need to shift into the appropriate gear if you're if you're driving in manual because it's not going to. Oh, that oh, dude lost it. it. Sorry, sorry for you yeah. and your. Uh, what was that a Rolls Royce? That might have been the ghost yeah, you know, could have been total. Who knows? <laughs> Can you imagine somebody taking a Rolls Royce convertible? car to a Hot Wheels That's right. world. Why not? Some fool would. Why not? Say, I got excited about the P1 going through right? these loops because that is not an inexpensive car. No, no, no. It's a beautifully made machine. Well, we, we do have to show off the 918. Oh, that's mm. right. So because we'll the, make the sure pole. we do that because of the poll we did All right. earlier. All right, final lap. Final you're round. in fourth okay. place. You're you're in good. We're gonna set I'm you up for success here. I'm you're doing all right. Fun. I'm just it's just the wave oh, section that is just messes you up. Yep. Now that's it right. stopped raining, so that's good. Okay. Recovered. It's probably still a slick track. And, you know, the orange bumpers designed, so when the Hot Wheels track, I guess the designers who designed the original Hot Wheels track back in the in the, in the the 60s, uh, 70s when they first introduced the tracks, um, you know, you had to have the orange rails to keep the car, you know, in line. Mm -hmm. uh, most of this track has rails like that to keep you... Uh, keep you on course but not all of it so yep. you do need to be careful sometimes you just don't go flying off and playgrounds devious designers have picked some uh, really nasty places where they <laughs> remove that um, so you got to keep your eyes open but uh, you, you were mentioning earlier before the show began about how we have high speed areas in the main island of Australia the highway and places like that yep here I, I how fast I can you go exactly <clears throat> I think on some of those downhills coming off a loop or something I think you're going to be able to hit some serious speed. There is a route in this called the, I, th I think it's aptly named the High Speed Highway, mm -hmm. um, where you can get some serious speed. I'm not sure if you can get quite as fast as you can in the in the main game of Australia on the highway because okay. that is super long. Yeah, that's right. And uh, while we do have a lots of roads here, um, you know, it's not as big as the main game. That's right. Look at this first place. Look at that right Whoa. at the end. Right at the end. Well done. You should probably work for them is what I think. Yeah, I think Zoom. so too. Look at that. And did we get two medals or three? We'll see. But it's probably time we show off the twin mill regardless. Yeah, let's so. go get it. And Well, no, because we can't do an event. Well, I said we'd do a vote. All right. So if we don't, if we're not at the twin mill yet, if, we're not, if we haven't unlocked S1, let's do one more. All right. Mm -hmm. Maybe that'll get us a little bit closer. It's time for another bean pole. So I want to make sure we get that in. We've still got time, guys. We're no, on no strict schedule. Look at that. Three. Oh, look at We're this. We're so close. So close. All so right, close. we only have a couple more, a couple more events or speed cameras okay. to go through. Here we'll we go. No pressure. Yeah. Let's right. do that. I'll just go find a speed trap and blast through it in this Is wicked that? Camaro. Okay, as let's fast do that. I can. All right. All right fine. Uh, here's one. No, that's a danger sign. <laughs> well, let's do it. Well, we haven't done it yet. Let's do it. Yep. All right. No medals yet. It's so. a half pipe danger sign. Danger is our middle name. That's right. <laughs> it's an sign too. Here we go. All right, here we go. All right. A little cockpit It wouldn't view. be a danger sign, Kate, without a ring of fire. That's kind Boy, of just expected. Absolutely. Truer words were never spoken. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. We're good. He's good. good. He's good. The amount of anxiety that you can get from going on some of these loops is really That's impressive. That's right. narrows a little bit. That's a split section that narrows. Oh, She's so you still got to go around right-hander here. Do I? All right. Yeah. All right. So you're still going to have a chance to get a good run at this thing. Here we go. Okay. I don't and think there's a boost. Oh, no. Q fire. Oh, no, there oh, there's there. a fire. Shift up. <laughs> oh, it's so dramatic. Just going <laughs> forever. Oh, there it how is. often do you get to j j jump 800 feet not, in a car? Come not, on. Not enough. So. So I think unless you're like Tanner Faust. I think, uh, much, uh, oh, that wasn't even a three that star. That might be enough, oh. though. Uh, I earned a new this? car. I earned a new car. So that's when the game will gift you a, a, a car. So let's go see what we got. Okay. Um, While we're at the garage. I progress to the next oh, round. fantastic. So, so we'll do S1. that. So we now we get S1 class cars. And again, you know, you, to, you can get to unlock the fi finale, mm. the, the Hot Wheels Goliath. You need to earn, uh, what is it? I, I can't remember how 40? many medals it is. No, no, no. Uh, Toward the finale, it might be 100. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, 
I can't remember off the top of my head. But um, and then you can go back and unlock championships for everything. So there's tons of replay value even even uh, after you get to the you know the end. So we're gonna go to the garage now. Yep. Here we go. While we're at the garage, let's make sure we show off the redline tires. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. We'll do. The, we'll equip. We'll get ourselves a twin mill mm -hmm. <coughs> and we'll equip ourselves with them right there. Go pick up a nice nice twin mill. Yeah. One stop shop, you might say. Exactly. Yep. This is a place where those things kind of happen. It's mm -hmm. wonderful. New car to collect. Yes. Don't you love that when the game just gives you awesome cars? Uh, so let's, uh, let's go to Hot Wheels and see uh, which Hot Wheels cars we've been gifted by the game. Um, look at that. Look at that. Oh, there it is. There so bing, is. bing, 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 bing. Oh, so we were gifted a, uh, another bone shaker. Must have so we're going to go ahead and okay. <coughs> get ourselves a twin mill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe do the Forza Vista of it. Yeah. Yeah. I might as well bit. show it. Like, Few people, I mean, we're lucky enough because we have the car right behind us. That's we're right. lucky enough to actually walk around and see it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think they let us get into it because uh, um, that we'd probably break. We it. should try right after this. Yeah, we'll just, just run to it. Kate. What happens? If you <laughs> we'll just so run. I'll just take off this and just go for it. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. So it's got a clamshell opening for the okay. cockpit, so that just opens up like that. It gives you an idea. Just show you I the idea of the, the detail on this thing. Yeah, let's go. Well, let me go on the driver's side. Okay. Yeah. And I'll show you what I'm talking about when it comes to, you know, visibility problem mm -hmm. that the Hot Wheels designer probably wasn't thinking of <laughs> back in the 60s when he came up with this idea. But that's what you see. Right. You, you got have, an engine in your huh. face. You have a big engine in your face, but you have all these instruments because you got two engines you have to keep track of. Yep. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. What so does the, uh, the, the horn sound like? Uh, oh, uh, if you go well, what you did you equip your horn? So, uh, in, in our, in Oh, in, in Forza Horizon 3, you can assign. It's yeah. like, I think I've got a, like a comedy whistle or something. Do you? Do you, you? can d choose your horn here. Uh, <laughs> you can yeah. assign whatever horn you like. I don't so. know. Yeah, you, don't, you really don't use the horn for the I most like part, a, right? There's like a bicycle, you know, <laughs> bell, <laughs> you know, yeah, oh, nice. all sorts know. of different yeah, ones. Yeah, so there's all kinds of fun ones. I think, yeah, there's a police siren, so we've got a cowbell, all that stuff. <laughs> that doesn't seem appropriate. <coughs> that sounds like something that would get me off the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what you do when you're playing in multiplayer? When you pass somebody, yeah. you're blasting your horn the yeah. entire time. Oh, so they're hearing yeah. a cowbell while you're passing them. It's like your little <laughs> It's your, like your little thumbs up except the wrong finger. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's what I want. Let's put the train, that's in, nice. the train horn in there. All right. So I uh, did want to put on some red line tires. Right now it has the stock race mm -hmm. tires. Um, so let's just go ahead and equip these. I told you guys about these earlier. But... Um, yeah, Hot Wheels or no, you know, so we've got the Forza Horizon edition tires mm -hmm. or we've got the nice red, classic red line tires to get you that classic Hot Wheels look. Okay. So, go, baby. uh, we're going to do that. I believe the, the, uh, twin mill behind us actually does have those. Nice. So nice. does indeed. I can verify. Yep. It doesn't make your car go faster, but, but it they just doesn't look, matter. It looks cool because it looks awesome. And you can apply those, I believe, to any car that has a race tire compound available mm -hmm. in the game. Great. So uh, we have the twin mill. We have this is an S1 class. We're moving up in class. Mm -hmm. Much faster car than certainly the Rip Rod, yep. which you start out with, and it looks badass. So let's go to um, that first, that that cockpit view. You oh, gotta yeah. see the cockpit. Show you how, how well it burns out. All right, here we go. Well, let's. This is what you <laughs> see if you get behind the wheel dangerous at all. of a twin mill. So what's interesting is that, you know, yes, we were playing around with different cameras. I know the Playgrounds car team was like, wow, should we, you know, stick a camera in the middle of the dashboard? Um, that would be different than every other car in the game, which we put you right in the, the driver's perspective in the steering wheel. But it turns out that not being able to see you directly in front of you is not as oh. important. That well, that guy just went across. Jerk. As being able, <laughs> as as uh, it's important to be able to see the apexes of each turn. And with the engines in this configuration, you can still see to yeah. the right and to the left the turns coming up because you're rarely just going straight on yeah. this on this Hot Wheels expansion. You're going in all kinds of directions. So, so it is kind of challenging to be driving in this cockpit view. Uh, we should have given oh you gosh. achievement just for that, but yeah. that would have been mean. So, uh, I often like to drive in the hood view, uh, so you can get all that sense of speed and first person, uh, but you can actually listen to that, those twin turbochargers, yeah. or sorry, uh, superchargers, just whistling their way as we're going through this. Um, and we should we do an event or are we going to invite some Yeah, let's some do an friends? event. Let's go straight right. to some purples. Oh, driving through some caves. Cave. Meadow's seeing on the left side here in some areas that the, uh, the barriers are down. Yes, That's sometimes, right. yes, exactly. Sometimes, you know, it's cool because you can drop to a lower section of track, do some exploration. Sometimes it's, <laughs> it's just, I uh, forget, <laughs> I'm in Australia. Be on the left side. And I should be driving on the left oh, side of right. the road. Yes. 
Uh, so let's find some S-Class events and see what we've got. Um, uh, there's one right right nearby sure. us. All right. Fast travel? I'll just fast travel. Yeah, let's do it. Tidal Teeth Circuit. Tidal Teeth Circuit. So it seems like we should have put a shark in there, but we didn't. Oh, you know what we didn't do? we got to do the vote. Let's do this event. Or can we do that now? Set oh, yeah, yeah. We can do, do this. We can do so this now. So we want to give you guys a chance to vote on this mm. because you know we can do the stunt swaps. We showed it off earlier mm -hmm. where you guys can decide. We, you as a player can decide what stunts you want within your race. We want to give you guys a chance at home watching us on Beam.pro. Yeah, currently this has a split jump section and a split cross, which is like a uh, uh, crisscross crash section. Okay. What if options do we Let's have see available? see what we've got. Oh, we've got the whole gamut. Oh, we've got the so whole gamut. Here we go. There's Let's just we got three to choose from, I think. Let's just, we've got, uh, oh, we got so a lot. We've got a loop-de-loop, -loop, mm -hmm. spiral, okay. yep. wave, boost jump, yep. Uh, the split jump, which is already in there, or the cross. Which She's is swapping these out for the yes. ones that are currently just. Yes. All right, yeah. we're going we're gonna to keep it we're simple and deck. give you guys three choices. So the poll is on beam, which stunt should we use? Should we use a wave, a loop, and, or a jump, right? Mm -hmm. And whichever one uh, ends up highest in the beam mm -hmm. poll, we'll just swap it out yep. there, and we'll make a choice ourselves cool. as well. So once again, the, the beam.pro slash sports motorsport poll that's going up in just a second is which stunt should we use here? Should we use the wave, the loop, or the jump. You guys vote if you are logged in on Beam. That Swing thing down. is top of S1 class. Too, it is. Right? It is a very fast, and you know it's got race tires on it. It's got a really good suspension. Surprisingly um, good car to drive. Mm -hmm. Not, not, mm, you know, uh, it's not out of control. Now, when you get there, still one more class to go, <coughs> and we have cars in oh, the look expansion. Look at this one with a custom paint job already. Oh, that looks nice. All right. Sorry. Sorry. The uh, so we've got the uh, the Zonda. And we've got mm -hmm, the Zenvo, Zenvo, which I think and both the Porsche 918 that, uh, that the will show on the pole. Oh, the are, are, is that are those both S2 cars? Yes, those okay. are S2 cars by default. Um, they're very, very quick, very high downforce, very powerful hypercars. So right off the bat here, though, what's the uh, what's the handling like? In uh, comparison to the car you well, just drove. Uh, Some power, more, more power. <laughs> yeah, I'd well, say. it's interesting. That Camaro was pretty powerful, but this is 1,400 horsepower. Um, it's... Uh, oh, you're taking the wave. Woo! There it and is. It's, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody got taken somebody out. Somebody lost it. Yeah. Poor Drivatar. I can't wait to see how many people just, you know, what happens in multiplayer. I mean, <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of a roll of the dice thing going on with some of these track sections, like the jump we encountered earlier yeah. that I failed to do several times. Um, but uh, most of it, I mean, if you're good at the game, you're going to be good at this track. Mm -hmm. um, and even if you're not good, at, you know, like Tanner Faust, I, I can't say how often he plays Forza, but, you know, when he came to our studio and, and was playing on the simulator chair, he's a professional stunt driver, mm -hmm. race car driver. He was expertly whipping around this track in no time at all uh, just from his knowledge of driving cars. Yep. So that was kind of cool to see. I mean, yes, it looks outlandish. Whoa, oh, look at that. Oh, I made it. Man. That was another twin mill, and I just... <laughs> <laughs> Just missed him. But that was the crisscross, right? Yeah. See, so. look, we got another twin mill right, right beside us oh, here, and it's that. in that, it's in that awesome Beautiful Spectra pink. Flame pink, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Ooh, that's cool. May as well crash into it. Sure, why Get not? Get out of my way. We're the only twin mill that matters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trophy truck out here. You see those big blue connectors in there? I mean. You know, they probably aren't serving as connectors in the in the uh, physical but sense. Functionally, uh, but, uh, but they would definitely, if you were to build this in life, in real life, you would definitely want to have uh, that bit of authenticity along with your orange track. Yeah. I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah. you're doing all right. One well, lap. Well, we still... So you want to go into the lap. dashboard view. That's yeah, good. Yeah, and, <laughs> exactly. and see if Just I can still do well. Add to the challenge. Back to the wave. Sounds good. Or no, this is a loop. Oh, here we go. Loop. Loop-de-loop -loop in the cockpit of a twin mill. Uh, oh. I just love how you can hear the revs pick up. On the also, I was going to say, did you hear all of us kind of uh, collectively hold our breath <laughs> as you go right. around? Yeah, it was terror. Yeah. Oh, and I still haven't shown anybody a failed loop. We'll have to do that. I just I feel bad doing that with the twin mill. I yeah. I don't really. I want to, you know, you want to pick like a, a car that I guess no car deserves to be treated badly. <laughs> Trust this guy. <laughs> if you lock your brakes at the top of loop, the car is going to fall down. It will fall. Yeah. Trust us. <laughs> it will happen. You'll be able to find this out for yourself tomorrow when this thing, thing launches. First thing everybody's going to do. Yep. This is kind of a drifty car, too. Like, like oh, I just lost it there, but I managed okay. to collect it again. Yeah. So uh, I think we have an achievement uh, for drifting, for getting 50,000 drift points through a drift zone in this car. So it um, shouldn't be too difficult. It's got 
Hey. Oh, here we go. Here's oh. your wave again. Oh. We get too busy talking. Yep. Probably doesn't help the uh, air. That was a GTR. Portion. Yep. yep. What's cars. funny is your it's head me. in the cockpit is right where that little emblem is on top of the car. You're so far <laughs> back in this car. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's the gas, the fuel filler, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if that's where your head is, the gas tank is it's awful right there, close. Right behind you. Yeah. It's all right. No worries here. I was hoping I was going to win this one, but that is a... Uh, what, what difficulty do we have this on? That is a Nissan GTR. Is this Noel's difficulty? No, I think you have it on... Uh, I think it's highly skilled or okay. something. All right. There's but a crisscross. Okay. Yeah. Makes it a little bit easier when there's only one car you're trying to That's avoid. right. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's go to my, my serious view here. To your business. Your business. Yeah. Yeah. This business this view. Business. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the business of winning the race right now, so. Woo! I think the first place car is. What? Yeah. He's kind of what? way yeah. out there. All right, I must have screwed up I badly early on, didn't I? I Isn't did that something. the guy that was, uh, was uh, we passed in the crisscross? Is that right? I thought so. Uh, Maybe I'm wrong. That's all right. Second place is nothing to be ashamed of. No. Well, it does mean I'm not going to get two medals, but unless I was to catch up with them. But that's uh, all right. I do love driving this car, though. Mm. Do a loop. Oh, okay, here we go. That's awesome. That's Shoot. awesome. Love I just I never get tired of driving through loops. Yeah. No. It's just fun. And uh, you know, more fun in some cars than others. Um, it's fun to take and knowing that, you know, that would that would melt your insides in real <laughs> life. That's right. <laughs> well once you get up into S one and S two, you're really taking advantage the speed just makes these tracks come alive. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, and that's why it's really fun that it was designed this way to kind of work you up from B, you know, all the way to S2 class. So by the time you're... Mm -hmm. That part is, I think people will be very familiar with that. Yeah, yeah, that, that's kind of a curated run through uh, race events and playground uh, style games. There is a new playground arena here where you can play uh, Flag Rush mm -hmm. and, and um, uh, Virus, you know, the, and Infected. All right, everybody's, everybody's got their horns, horns on. Their horns. <laughs> Nobody's Everybody driving the horns. Spectre Flame pink uh, twin mill, though. That's. I think we need to do a paint job change. So, I need, so what do you guys want to play? I think we want to do an online adventure. Uh, oh, wait. Were you all in the same lobby already? We should be. Yeah. All right. Okay. Just yeah, just go find an event. Yeah, I think it'll pull everybody Oh, it's going to find an uh, if You're looking for a session. Meeting of the minds here. Yeah, right. that's right. That's, is that Johnny Wana in the Johnny Porsche Wana. that looks like the one he's We've got? We've got Jube here. We've got... Uh, Those are love taps, right, Brian? Yeah, no. It's just to say, hey, wake up. <laughs> We're about to go here. Oh, you need to start an event. You're not reading, you're not reading properly. I'm not reading properly? Yeah, it says start doing? an event so the others could play. Um... Online event. No, no, no. Back out. Back out. Back out. Back out. Back out. Just drive up to an event in the world. But online adventure is guided. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're still in free roam right now. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. if you want to kick things off while it's still searching. There's Hila. Let's let All uh, right. Ian join, and then we'll, that'll be the full group. Kind of stay on track, you know. Um, Pun intended. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so some of the some of the free roam opportunities that you're used to in the main game are not quite available when you're doing some of these. Uh, Trying to get that. Uh, he just wants to do. I'm just, just warming up the burning. tires. <laughs> <laughs> Kick the tires and light the fire. It is a burnout machine. Yeah. It is for sure. And that, great for landscape. That tree didn't. That tree didn't deserve to live. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> looked at me sideways. All right. All right let's. Uh, Are I you looking for an S1 event? I'm looking for an online adventure to start. Oh, you got to drive to the event. We're waiting for it. You're just goofing around. You don't have to drive to the event. Well, and this is still, you know, this is always part of the, the during the online adventures, it's that place, that, that time between events, right, where yep. you can all get there however you want. It's a fun time to experiment and just see, like, a lot. There's, the a lot of, there's a lot of ocean around here, but a lot of it's shallow enough to drive oh. most hey, of the those, cars through. Those uh, red lines are really doing a job That's in the uh, beach area. They are not area. off road tires. Turns That's out. okay. Although, you could equip, I think, rally tires, I rally race car on the on the twin and a rally uh, suspension on the twin belt no if you kidding. wanted to see. This car does not like did. sand. 
uh, no, under any circumstances. <laughs> I may have to wait for the timer to run out because I'm not sure I can get back up that hill in this car. Uh, I only have 10 seconds. Oh, you just need momentum. Oh, Yahtzee, and go team. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Bam. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Back on that comfortable track that it was born That's right. to yeah. race on. Out of time, fine. It's going to take right. us to the event anyway. Sweet. All right, Ooh, so we don't we know exactly what events we're going to do. Nope. This, we didn't do a custom event here. This is, uh, we're preparing to get in there and start doing some racing. Could be race events, could be playground, it could be anything, I think. All right. Well, you're at the top of the XP I still, I'm still winning? Nice. Yeah. Just what I like. must have been from all those burnouts you were doing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the Earning XP is The rest of them were just driving slowly, just waiting for you to catch up yeah. patiently. I know. I know. That's all right. I'm First mistake. Yeah. All right, oh, sky track oh my God. What is this? So, so this, this track, as I mentioned earlier, this is one of those tracks that has a jump that is kind of devious. Okay. Um, okay. It is a really slope to jump. Like, cars will be doing, will be going nose up. So when you're going off that jump, everyone just pay attention. You may want to tap your brakes a little bit uh, rather than go at full throttle. Okay. We'll see what happens. Oh, somebody got a fast exit. And oh. there is a half pipe. Uh, in this track as well, so you want to be careful about that too. Cars. Cars. It's, it's a little squirrely. You gotta, you gotta squirrely. be careful. Remember, you got fourteen hundred horses. It's about, and you're, it's almost like you're Ben Hur. You've got your, your, <laughs> your, your, your two massive horses in front of you, and you're sitting in that little oh. thing in the back. Look at this. Oh, it's Good out. grief. That is. Is taking on gravity there. Uh, yeah, that's Helios is in the lead. No, Johnny Juan is in the lead. Oh, he's been practicing, you and he's he in has. a Porsche. Uh, that car will do well out here, I'm sure. Is he, or is he? Did he change cars? I thought he was in a truck of some sort. Oh, oh he's in a he's in a trophy truck. Right? Okay, yep. That's actually pretty yeah. smart. Yeah. Big uh, soft suspension. Yeah. You'll be able to take anything Hot Wheels can throw at it. Yep. Not too many gears to have to ship. So here, this is okay. Go full throttle and get up into the half pipe. But I think coming out of this half pipe, um, we're going to see some people fall off the track. Is that right? Yeah. I guarantee it. I just hope it's not you. <laughs> This is that I'm jump counting rate. on it at this point. Jump. Oh, somebody oh, had a problem. Somebody missed a checkpoint. Somebody yeah. had a problem. This still, you still have to uh, find, you know, if you still want to miss, want to miss checkpoints. Okay. So if you see those uh, bright, you know, day glow green checkpoint flags, your, your job is to still go through them. I think there's one coming up here. I'm probably doing this the wrong. I probably need to be oh, on oh. this side. Of the All right, you're good. Stay in the middle, though. Stay, yeah. Oh, God, right. Stay on target. <laughs> and you may want to just tap the brakes right as you go off. I did. Whether that works. You're oh, no, you're oh. good. Oh, there you go. Yes. But it also, the problem is, is that John Iwana hit it too. So oh. I was hoping for a big fail from him. Yeah, because. All right. And then what's coming up next? Ring of fire. Big ring of fire, John. Oh, Easy. breaks, breaks, breaks. So again, it's not always the goal. Oh, there's, <laughs> there goes Rob now. So every time you see a jump, I know it's kind of like when you see yellow light yeah. in real life, you just want to hit the gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's not always the best idea. So people will learn which jumps you're supposed to go full throttle and which jumps you want to like be ready to just land it. Yeah, part of that's that, juke, isn't it? Part of that is the challenge of designing a course that is fun for slower cars uh -huh. as well as faster cars. So some of the jumps are not quite as, as big. Oh! oh <laughs> so once again, not all of the track is uh, has those bumpers. No, on I think side. I think he was airborne. I was airborne. Went yeah. over the I was going to jump over the guardrail. Yes. That happens. Even better. Oh man! Wait, why am I in first place? Oh, no longer. No longer. Somebody dropped out. I think somebody dropped. Oh, <laughs> oh I was going on the underside oh. of that thing. Yeah. See, now why don't they give an achievement for yeah, that? And of course, Beautiful. no rewind in multiplayer. No rewind in multiplayer. Guys, I'm getting schooled live here on beam.pro slash Forza Motorsport. Well, and you know, you're an expert in the game, but you gotta you got to get used to these tracks. It's a very different experience. Yeah. Like, guys, I'm, this is the first time I've uh, spent some significant time in this. So, no excuses, just letting you know that you're seeing this live as I am as well. So, um the banks work pretty well. The though. banks work great when yep. you do it right. But when you find some of those turns that are extreme that don't have a bank, uh, yeah, you got to be careful. Well, you just can't pin the throttle and hope that the track's going to take care of it. Yeah, you still need to drive. You, you still, still need, need to, to use your brakes. And yep. these are things that, you know, real Hot Wheels cars don't necessarily deal with uh, as they're whipping around their tracks. Yeah, it's all about, you know, how high the track is and what kind of um, course you make that determines how fast they're going to go. But here you, you still have to use driving acumen. That's right. That's right. And, you know, the other thing is, like we were talking about earlier, you still got to learn these tracks. You got to learn the directions. Yep. You got to have that, I suggest oh, nice having that, 
that suggested, oh, awesome drift. suggested uh, line on. You got a Hot Wheels drift. Wow, that's man, how that's too much of a drift. Yeah. That is too much of a drift. Yeah, sometimes short shifting um, on this bad boy is a good idea. Just yep. getting into a taller gear before you would normally, just to keep keep from spinning out yeah, too much. Yeah, spinning the tires and all that. All right, stay in the middle. Yeah, go. stay on target. That looks pretty good. Oh. Nicely that is satisfying. Uh, that, that is, is really well done feels great. Jump. Well done jump. I'm gonna have to slow down earlier here. Or try to learn some lessons as I play this. See all the cranes though? They're still yeah. building this place. Still going up. So. And slow fire. down, slow down, slow down. This one's got a uh, hard I'm, right turn. I'm hoping that, yes, Ooh. that the, the lip will do it, its job for me there. Yep. And uh, I think yes. I, if, I'm still in last place, guys. This is all these tips, all these things I've learned to no avail. Well. I'm still dead yes. last. I guess it would have been more helpful if I told you some of those things before <laughs> well, you. Encountered. You probably were telling me earlier in the show, and I was just like, whatever, it's easy. All right, there you go. All right, well, Helios takes the win. Nice job, Helios. <clears throat> well done. Cool. And so we'll be driving to our next event, as you do when you're playing an online adventure. Um, Taking in some of the iconic... Hot Wheels, Australian. Some of the scenery. Scenery. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And figuring out how to get there should be fun because sometimes you think the road may go one way and then you take a loop and you're going the other way. Uh, it's, you can't do what you do <coughs> in Australia, the main island of just pointing your car and going. Right. You have to follow the. Uh, the yeah, in the main there. game, you could sort of see the city of Surfers Paradise off in the distance and just sort of aim for it. If you try to aim for Thrill City here, you may find yourself, yeah, in the dinosaur jungles or some somewhere else. So. Thrill City. Getting to know. I love no, that name. That's a great name. It's a Hot Wheels name. It's a total it sounds, Hot Wheels sounds like name. a Hot Wheels name. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see some rain happening again. Could be. Oh, now Inclement we're weather. Mm -hmm. That's not exactly what I need. Who is this? Is that how oh, Jube just joined? Okay, so we got our full crew again. All right, you guys um, got to go drive to the next event. <coughs> okay, we got a path to go on where it should be good. So we haven't seen the playground area yet, John, but what is it and where where is it located? I I think, you know, I think it might be in the in a shipwreck section. Okay. I okay. might be wrong about that. Um, well, look out. We'll now, actually, that, that went overshot. Now you're going the wrong way. Am I? Yeah, you missed your right turn. So you got to be pay attention sometimes to this. Uh, That's right. When I get down to the bottom here, I'll turn. <laughs> They're following me. Everybody's <laughs> right. following me. Guys, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> turn around. <laughs> Yeah, turn around, follow the line. There we go. The driving line does come in handy. Um, well, you, you gotta give them a few honks. Going here. Yep. I gotta give them a honk. You do need to have enough speed to get up and over this. Uh, well, I'm in the think, window. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah, you're all right. All right, I gotta pay attention to the line. There's okay. a left turn coming up here. Is there? Turn. I see it. I see it. These blue sections, not the dark blue ones for the stunts, but these light blue ones, those tell you that there's an intersection or a or a interchange coming up. So, oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. And then here's a wavy bit. Oh, this is nice too, by the way. You've got the glare from the sun and and the water. Water. Right. Right. A bit of sheen. All right. Here's your next event. So it's another race. It looks like. Okay. You have arrived at your destination. I made it, guys. I don't know about the other guys, but I made <laughs> it. That was that was so easy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Broke your headlight cover. Yeah, yeah, that happens. All right, now I need to I need to redeem myself here. We've only got three events left in our multiplayer um, extravaganza, so I need to win at least one of them. And then we'll uh, we'll show people what the hypercars like the 918 Spider 918, behave. Yep. We like don't necessarily have to do all of these. We just want to give a taste of multiplayer. <coughs> okay. Maybe show off the 918 after that. And I'd love to show the, the barn find if we've got time or if it pops up, because mm -hmm. uh, I know some people are expecting that. If we don't get to it, guys. Uh, I might not get to it, but we'll see. You will experience it tomorrow. You'll know exactly what the barn you find is. You can do is. some really cool things with it. I all right, we'll say. do one more. We'll do one more of these, and then we will move on to the 918. All right. And then we'll do our big trivia giveaway, guys. Ooh, oh, that's trivia right. Giveaways. 400, trivia giveaway. Uh, of the 2015 Hot Wheels plus the collector set. Collection? That's right. And I've got the question right here in front of me. Oh. Uh-huh. I got the question right here. I know what the question is, and I know the answer. <laughs> Thank goodness. Unfortunately, he has that all does not work in your favor. all the information. All right. All right. Last multiplayer race. Oh, yeah. oh, oh everybody's in a twin blue mills. twin mill. Could you have not picked a different color, no, kids? No, no. Well, well, I told them we can't do paint jobs. <laughs> so you could have gone either way. So the the driving line will only pick one of the uh, anytime the track splits. 
Um, sometimes it's not always the fastest. Uh -huh. So uh, we'll leave it up to the community to figure out and which car you're in, I guess, depends. Uh, I guess mathematically one way is always faster than another, so okay. um, I haven't figured out what they are yet. Someone will figure that out. Well, John has found that trophy truck, and I think he really likes it because... Uh, oh, look out, look out. That's uh, <laughs> Oh, you're still on. So this is a split jump. You have to have enough speed to make the jump here or you're going off. So go like 70, 80 miles an hour to get over this. Yes. Oh, oh, oh just barely. Oh. And thankfully, we've got a there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm kicking things over here. This, okay. It's immersive here. I think the uh, the Pro 2 track is uh, was just the right thing for him to take to recover from that one. Yep. Uh, that was actually kind of scary. That, <laughs> oh, survived man. it. Yeah, barely. On two accounts, I barely survived that. Right, now, these, some of these sweepers. Give the train whistle. Oh, yeah, okay. That's nice. still the top speed. But some of those sweepers fake you out. You think. Now slow down, slow oh, down, slow down. I can't see the line. You didn't see the big giant <laughs> turn left. Did I knock John off? Warning no, station. I didn't. I should knock him off. I should knock him off on purpose. He won't yeah. get bad. Reefer. <laughs> no, oh, he, no, he, right heard, the you. Edge he there. heard you. No, he he's knows. moving. Yeah, he heard me. Left. There you I'm go. not looking there at the map. There you go. Yep. Ride it. Ride it. Clean racing. Oh. I wouldn't mind seeing a twin mill knock off the truck. But yeah. Slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> did it again. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I think Let's we see. all did that. All right, note to playground. <laughs> Make your giant turn yes. warnings even more <laughs> giant. That's right. that's what, I'm not looking at them. I'm looking at the car ahead of me. Well, well, they're all making he, mistakes, too. I guess so. <laughs> Later, dude. There it is. Oh, you're going to knock them off? No. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Oh, here's a, is this now? This is not crisscross. Oh, it is. Oh, OK. You might actually be hitting them anyway. Man, when you get to those blue sections, the twin mill kind of, kind of uh, gets uh, lost in yeah, the blue there. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Track camouflage. Why the? Uh, why did you go blank there for a second? Look out! Look out! And hit the check. Did I now miss you're the going through the uh, oh, the spiral, yeah. what we jokingly call the toilet bowl. Ooh! Of course, it's it's going, going the opposite direction. Yes, if you're, you're going down. down. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What? What? It's not going to reset me? Oh, no, it's not. Look at oh, that. Oh, you're I'm ghosted. Doomed. I am doomed. you got to find your way back. Dude. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, no, no, you're right. No, you're right. You're right. I'm, you're right. I'm trying to get back on the track. Yeah, you can get back up there. There they go. There they go, taking it's off. like a windmill in the I guess water. if you had another car, it might have been strategic for you to go down there. Right? If you had one that did That's well true, in, huh? the in the water. Because I, I totally missed the spiral there. I just fell <laughs> to, to the, the bottom of it. Yeah, that's one of the hazards of those stunt swap sections. They're uh, they come with a little risk. Yeah. That's kind of an epic track. This has all been a point to point. Not Is that right? Oh, yeah. we're only five. Oh, You're almost guys, there. Guys, Four percent. Place again. Four percent of the way. But left. it's so entertaining to watch. Oh, good. You there, I'm Ryan. glad. That's that's the important thing. Oh man. So. Um, Oh, this was a Forzathon car. Mm -hmm. This was given away free to everybody. That's right. So uh, this did not come in the Porsche car pack last month. New barn find rumor. Uh oh, hey. we can How kill fortuitous two birds with one? is yeah. that? Look at that. Well, let's, All right. Let's take the barn find to find. Well, let All right. Me, you know where this is. I right? do know. I do know pretty much where it is. Yeah, not exactly. So let's 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 spoil the warning here. Okay, guys, spoiler we're, warning. we're gonna go find the the barn find. So if you don't want to know where it is, you you get the general direction here. Yes. You know, close your eyes, go to the restroom, whatever you mm -hmm. want to do right now. But we're going to go look for the barn find right and now. And then you're going to see what it is. And you're going to you hear us is. talk about it. Yeah. So, yep. um, At length. Yeah. So let me go ahead and set that as a destination. And we should drive there. Because, yeah, let's drive there. Yeah. Because we are in one of the world's greatest uh, super modern supercars. I love this car. And I'm not just saying that because I own a very old Porsche in real life. Um, Mine is a 61. It has, I think, 60 horsepower. <laughs> I, I can't remember what this car has, but it's significantly more than 60. Uh, we will Probably reveal 90. the winner of the grand prize after we find the barn find. So stay tuned for that. We'll be doing that in just a few minutes. In the meantime, it's time to go find a barn find car. Nice. And I, uh, as the as the weather person on this panel, uh, I can tell you <laughs> the inclement weather seems to be uh, coming in. There's so a system rolling in, I think. Even more stuff to look forward to. <laughs> This car handles so well, wow. I'm sure, in real life. That's the thing. The cars, 
that are super fast, super um, responsive in real life, oh my God. and in the rest of the game, are also the cars that you would expect would be the best ones to drive in the Hot Wheels expansion. Sure. So, um, this car grips around the, the corners really well. It loves the banks. Like, yeah. you, you almost hear no tire slipping when you're going around some of those high bank turns. Got a left turn coming up here, I yeah. think. Yeah, I got to listen to that. There's that a dinosaur nap. tail. We're going into Jurassic Jungle. That's, that's right. right. That's, yep. 200 yards. Turn sharp right. I love driving this car here. Turn sharp right. Sharp right, she says. Turn Whoops. sharp right. Oh, that you sound just like her. <laughs> You know In 200 yards. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I, I always say that the indicator in the uh, wheel has been very useful for. Now the trick here is to, you know, get we need to get off the road and go do some jungle exploring. This is not really the right car for jungle yeah, exploring, not. but uh, we can do it anyway. And actually, um, I could have driven off there and dropped because that was an open section. Oh, oh Lord, messing Lord, up my <laughs> See, that's how you know you're a car lover when it, it pains you. That's like, to hit you feel the, it in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are, are both clinched right now. It's, it's really fun to watch. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, put it off the side. Okay. It's somewhere around here. All right. All right. I'll. Uh, Can you? Uh, oh, all right. Now oh, that. There's should I do it to this car? No. Yeah, oh, no, no, oh God. This is what happens if you. <laughs> it's big. There's done. your proof. Oh. <laughs> if any of you uh. wanted to know what happens when you Stop. mash your That's brakes yep. uh, going off a um, jump, that is what's going to happen. So, yes, real physics are at work. So, I'm going to fast travel right here to Somewhere the, in the forest. low road. Okay. So, again, if you're not sure how to get off the track, that's what that dotted line is for. Mm. Okay. That's, that's basically on the ground level. Sweet. Now, so. this could take me 45 minutes to find. So, should we do a hot, cold, hot thing? Um, you're getting hotter, you're getting. Or, or just I kind of forgot it. where That's exactly it is. Spider. I'm pretty sure this is not what a Porsche Spider is for. I feel like I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm being you're sacrilegious. I should be. I should be in an off-road car, but I'm taking it easy. I'm not going to go banging off the trees. Um, <laughs> I love sometimes the, the drone comes in handy, right? A lot of you oh, guys, yes. a Here lot of go. people use the drone camera to, to help find a barn find really quickly, especially now that you have an unleashed drone. I was going to say, if you're just joining us, we showed the drone mode earlier, but now you know if you've played the drone mode in the main island of Australia, you know you can only go so high. Mm. You can, you are so, have so much more freedom here. Mm. Yeah, I can't wait to see the drone cam footage people are going to be putting up because uh, you could just, you could basically go anywhere. Mm. Um, Finding a needle dinosaur. in a haystack That's here. Right. Yeah, I I'm trying to remember. I know it's somewhere in not too far from one of these dinosaurs here. So okay, near a dinosaur. Well, is, I mean, uh, is the dinosaur we guarding have three it? three of them. <laughs> because <laughs> if so, that would be cool. That's right. Uh, Boss battle. Hold on. <laughs> I'm actually flying too high too. I want to get. I want to get lower so I can actually trigger it. You know what really tickles me is that the fact that there's a barn somewhere on this island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yes, I mean. Uh, a barn with a really, with a really uh, great desirable car. car in it. Yes. Um, yeah, you didn't have the treasure map thing, did no, you? No, so no, I didn't yeah, do the so treasure I gotta map. So I got to do this the hard way. We okay. got to do this the old-fashioned way. All right. I'm doing it the old There's way. another dinosaur. There's another, this yeah. is the one that we greeted us at the beginning of the game as we were coming around that turn, and he roars. Uh, oh, hear that. Oh, listen hear to that guy. It's a growl. Um, That'll work. Yeah, let's just go through the trees here. We're going to find There's it. it. There oh, it is. That is it? that a barn? That, looks that like is a it. barn, yeah. so let me make sure you get close enough down there to activate it. And I know a lot of oh, you... Oh, the, the drone will activate it? Yeah. I didn't didn't know you know that? that? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. That's why people things. are using... That. We're all learning so here. So as soon as I get down close, bing, now it shows up on the map. Now okay. I can drive right to it. Ah, nice. Problem solved. Oh, beautiful. That is an insider. That is the you didn't know that I didn't know this that. whole time. I've been playing this game for nine months. I didn't that know that. That is how you can use the drone to find uh, um, bonus boards, uh, barn finds, anything else. So wait, I just need to see on the map where it is relative to us. It is there. There it is. Okay. And we are cool. here, so I need to turn right. And uh, So you can't do a, a destination to that? Well, uh, it's, it's pretty close. Oh, I could sort of fast travel right to it, right. but we're just going to drive right to it here. Yeah, yeah really. Let Through this, uh, the Jurassic Jungle. <laughs> Let the uh, the spider be unleashed here. That's right. <laughs> it's totally not the car to be driving <laughs> through a jungle. I just this feel is kind so of It's really funny to watch you get very... <laughs> oh, here you go. Well, earlier we were talking about, about guys with hard hats built this. Yeah. Look at the size of those bolts and that concrete pier. Right. I mean, this is... It's real. That's it. It's as real as it can be. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Big stump. Well, that's a fine how do you do to the guy who owns the barn. All right. All right. Here we go. 
Spoiler alert, turn away, close your ears. Turn away. What this is will Warren tell us about this car? You reckon we could get Hot Wheels to make us little barns to keep our classic car models Look in? Look at that. Okay. Look at that. That's old. That's ancient. It's a Ford Deluxe, the coupe, I think. 1930 something. And to think, now we drive through the sky on roads made of orange plastic. How far we've come. Making right. some jokes, there making some jokes, but yes, uh, that is the 1932 Ford Deluxe Five Window Coupe. Uh, for those of you who um, don't know, it's a five window coupe. For those of you who remember a classic movie called American Graffiti, mm. um, yes. uh, John Milner drove around in a bright yellow 32 Ford Coupe with a chopped roof. And if you were paying attention in that cinematic, you saw some yellow tape. On the uh, on the um, frame of the cockpit, um, that is where you're going to be able to chop the roof of your car too. So we we will have for the first.